Welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some abs and citadel. This will be the first time that we try it in the ranked queues. We played this just one other time um, in just like the normal traditional constructed matches and it looked awesome. We did some really crazy things with the Bolas Citadel. Um, so I want to try this over there and just see if we can um, kind of go crazy with it as well. So the goal of this deck is to uh, kind of be like a, a normal like black green explorer deck like right we got our our normal explorer package that we try to uh, survive for a while and basically just get bola citadel in play if we can just get this card in play we can start playing the top card of our library um and we have a, like a lot of ways to uh, kind of change the top card of our library and and really go through so every card from the top card of our library does we do have to pay life equal to its cmc to be able to to play it and you can play a land but you still only get one land drop a turn um however if we have like extra lands on like jade light ranger and merfolk branch walker with their explore help you clear off lands and help you set up your next turn every time you play them and if you have wild growth walkers in play of course you're gaining life every time you're doing that um then we also have bond of flourishing whenever we hit that we get to look for some permanent card because we usually have the extra mana if we have the bullet citadel in play and then of course if we actually have doom whisper in play we get to just pay life and surveil and really set the top card of our library um, all the time with that and really just go crazy uh, we're adding white to go along with the explore package in the citadel to help with some life gain in particular i love soren here because Soren can, like, immediately when you play it, you can either return Wild Growth Walker or Jade Light Ranger, whichever one of those two you want to uh, make sure you can gain a lot of life uh, with Wild Growth Walker or explore with Jade Light, like, whichever one you need to. Or if you, like, play it and tick it up, it goes to six loyalty, where then the next turn you can minus five and, and bring your Doom Whisperer back also. So, like, they're kind of extra fine finalities. Plus, it gives all of our creatures lifelink, so it's another way for us to gain a lot of life. If we're just attacking with whatever creature with lifelink. Um, a Johnny you know, gets to gain life immediately. So it only costs one life to play a Johnny with Bola Citadel, uh, but then it can also make our creatures big, um, give our creatures vigilance, all that kind of stuff. I like a Johnny in here too. So let's see if we have some fun, see if we can make up for Gruul midrange. Uh, it was not Gruul's day earlier today. So we lost a bunch of rank. Let's see if we can make up for it here with Abzan Citadel. What does Huatli do in Mardu Control? It just it just makes it kind of. I mean, all three of its abilities are relevant. We're using all three of the abilities. We killed creatures multiple times with the minus ability. Uh, then we would make dinosaurs and then tick up and gain three life a turn after making a dinosaur and uh, get more loyalty on it, so we could minus again and kill something. All right, we're a little light on lands, but we're definitely gonna keep this hand. Citadel time. Yeah, Huali was really good for us against Mono Blue with that minus. Kind of a little surprisingly. But did a lot of work. Uh, before Shocklands... Last format, we had um, what we have last format. That wasn't the Prairie Stream in those lands. It was Amonkhet. We had we had cycling lands. We had lands that came into play tapped, but you could pay two and cycle them away. Um, those were in standard. Those were the Amonkhet lands. And then, yeah, Kaladesh had the fast lands. Yeah, so then, so Amonkhet and Kaladesh, those were the ones that rotated. Yeah, Kaladesh had fast lands, like a Botanical Sanctum that came into play untapped if it was one of your first three land drops. No, I think Mortify is more versatile than Dispark. There's a lot of aggro decks in the format, like where I that's where I kinda have that removal spell is for like, you know, I want the removal spell against like the creature decks, and a lot of the creature decks don't care about to spark. Uh, 
How many more Thought Raiders we got over there? Opponent. Mm, no more. Keep up the pace. Stop that. Now. So can they kill the Doom Whisperer? Okay, so they're going to tuck. Definitely getting an untapped land for Citadel. And setting up the next card underneath it. Do I want a Johnny underneath it? Yeah, might as well, right? I guess a Johnny doesn't really do anything in this matchup, though. Teferit area has one loyalty. Yeah, that's the card I want. You need to take a time out. The ringing of my sword is your death knell. All right, here we go. I demand servitude. There we go. They had three Thought Erasures. They could have taken Bola Citadel with any of them. They could have done it. Didn't want to. So, no, nah, I don't want that Bola Citadel. Don't worry about it. So, if we're bringing the Vivians and the Despark and these Duresses, then we get rid of Oath of Kaya, Mortify, Ajani, and that's 62. Hmm. Do I get rid of Find Finality? Maybe I do. Find is just like an awful card to have in your opening. So, you know, it's an okay card to find later, but they have a good amount of, like, exile stuff, and, you know, I'll just get rid of that. We don't need it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm at one life. Opponent's like, concede. Why didn't my opponent wait to see if they drew a Wrath or something? I don't know. It's possible we we're going to be able to, like, we would have had to get really lucky. But it's possible we could have killed our opponent that turn. Right? Is it? Is it possible that we could have done 20 with a Wild Growth Walker? Well, our opponent probably shocked some with all those Thought Erasures. I don't know if they did or not, but maybe they did. Mortify back.
So now my opponent, even though we don't have that fifth land for Vivian, they have to be worried about Vivian here. Like, if their plan is just Kaya's Wrath, they kind of have to be worried about me just, like, resolving Vivian and killing Ascanta. Let me try something here real quick. Y'all let me know if this if this gets makes the stream better. Let me try going back to this thing right here. Okay. Um So my creatures won't have lifelink by attacking first, but Yeah, Soren with the Explore package is really nice. Strife makes monsters of us all. <laughs> what a mess I've made. May death find you quickly. land. Ooh. No wrath? Wow, no wrath. Things are turning around for us. <laughs> if you look at our record besides the girl mid-range today, it was pretty good. We were like really close to getting to diamond before that girl mid-range league. Ugh. GG's. So is this is is this a uh, V-Sync being on the if, is the S FPS limit being on V-Sync better than 60 for y'all? Hmm. Maybe I don't like it as much. Maybe the 60 is better. I'm not sure which one is is better yet still. Okay. No, let's go back to the 60. Evolving Wilds. That's not a card you see too often. Thirty is not an option. The options are sixty, ninety, V Sync, or unlimited. And I definitely know the unlimited is the worst. We don't want to do that one. Unfortunately, Nexus doesn't really care too much about us gaining a bunch of life and everything. Maybe I'm supposed to actually keep the Land War Elves there. <clears throat> no, because I don't have a third black for Bola Citadel. No, yeah, I don't need I don't need that. Um You should fear those born of darkness. Vampirism is a useful trait. Alright, let's gain a bunch of life. Help our bowl of Citadel out that we can play next turn. With all this life. New Liliana is awesome. Yeah, we New Liliana is really good. We got absolutely destroyed by New Liliana with our grill deck earlier against Espa. Hmm. 
Please don't counter this. No counter. Here we go. I don't have any like way to rearrange the top of my library though. All right. Citadel. Getting it done. So we got all the duresses. We got the Dispark. Mortifies, Knight of Autumns, Vivians. Those can all destroy enchantments. Um, we don't need the Ajani's. I don't think I really want the Contempts. Don't want the Fines. I guess I don't really want Bond of Flourishing. Just don't really need it. And I'll trim one Citadel. Is that is it ever right to trim a Citadel? I mean, well, yes, it is against like the aggro stuff. But I mean, in this matchup, do I need to take out Citadel? Do I need as many Wild Growth Walkers? Usually, would be taking out Wild Growth Walker in this kind of matchup. Oh, Othakaya. There we go. That card can go. Okay, that looks good. Well, should I get this fourth Citadel in here? All right. Basically, what card should we take out from here? How was it? How was it at all a misplay there? What did, what did you want me to do? To, to do nothing? Just attack the opponent with the seven to to try to force lethal that way. Take out a Soren. I could take out a Soren. We don't. We probably don't need both. Okay, I'm in there. I like that Soren. Yeah, we pulled through. Got that five wins, right, eh? I would like to keep. The Lana War. Better not have another one of those. So if they play Wilderness Reclamation, do I slam Vivian to try to kill it next turn? Or do I play Branch Walker plus Jade Light? do this. So now we get we're attacking for lethal next turn with disruption next turn. It's like our opponent's going to need like a fog effect. Or to go real crazy or something. Abzan Citadel. Doing its thing.
Question is, do you think the the explore package limits design space currently within standard? No. Because they're not going to design more... They're not designing more explore things, so I don't think that that really limits anything of what, they're, what they can design right now. Can it limit what's being played? Yes. Can it limit what design space? No. Yeah, I'll be playing the metagame challenges. Oh, a fountain. Rude. So I think against Esper here, I think I would rather play old Branchy. Okay, that's good. I mean, deck to, do you think it's pushing out decks? I mean, it, everything in standard pushes out decks. You know, like like anything that's played in standard pushes out decks. I don't think it's too egregious. It's really hard to complain about the explore package when we have Wilderness Reclamation in the format. Yeah, the MeUndies are super comfortable. They are so comfortable. Three times softer than cotton is like what it says on the site, and I believe them. Anybody else here in chat have them? Um, if you sign up for... I don't really want to play the Soren this turn. If you sign up for like the subscription on there, you get 33% off of your purchase, and then using my referral link, you get another 15% off of your purchase with them. Through feud or feast, your blood is That's my blood. referral link there. Plus, if you get a pair of Meundies or, you know, make a purchase with our socks. I absolutely love their dress socks. Um, if you do that, you can get a donation deck. If you use my referral link, instead of the normal $20, which it is to see your deck on stream, only $5. I'm doing a reduced price for people that help support the stream by supporting my sponsors. Yeah, the monthly cost on the membership is $16. I think their normal, their normal pair of underwear is usually twenty-four dollars, just pricey, but it's really good quality. But then if you if you do sign up for the membership, like I said, you get thirty-three percent off, so it's only sixteen. You get you know a third of it off, so it's sixteen dollars for each month. And then using my referral link, you get another fifteen percent off on that, so it makes it like thirteen dollars ish. Guess I'm playing this land war elf. It's like, what else is this land war elf gonna do for me? And no reason just to throw out Othakai. We'll like save it. Maybe we can like finish off a Teferi with it, or maybe they'll go down to like three life, thinking that they're safe and thinking that we don't have any reach in our deck, and we'll kill them with the Othakai. And your progeny. Yeah, the reduced cost is every single, every pair each month. Like, so you get like the thirty, the thirty-three percent off your pair every single month, the normal price. But then you also, on your first purchase, you get an additional fifteen percent off with using my referral link. I don't know. I don't know the policy of like if you can cancel the monthly thing after like the first purchase of just getting like you know like, you just want one pair kind of thing for example. 
Right on schedule. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, it's just they send you like a new pair of underwear each month, so you don't really have to worry about it. Keep on refreshing your basics. That's a lot of lands. Yeah, and if you're a mem yeah, so if you're a member, you get that reduced price on any pair you buy whatsoever. Like basically, just being being a member um, gets you that reduced price all the time. This might be a bad idea. The undead make you rate. Uh, get out of my way! I mean, I have to. I have to kill this Liliana. My army has been destroyed. We haven't found a citadel yet. I'll protect you. Can this deck work with only one citadel? They're kind of hard. Just gotta hope you draw it a lot, I guess. I mean, you're just like a, just be a normal Abzan mid-range deck, you know, kind of like Sultai, but a little different. You just play like some Lilianas or something. Lilianas, Vivians, things like that. Treasure maps. There you go. Treasure maps can help find them. And there's the Citadel. Will it resolve? It's always a little... Uh, it's a little troubling that our opponent knows about it. And like, you know, then they make their decisions based on knowing that the Citadel is coming up. Kind of thing. Don't worry. I got this. I haven't played any counter spells whatsoever yet. Hmm. Cool decision which one to do. They could also just have like a thought erasure in hand and just take it. Yeah, I'll just play it. 
at least a trade trading with a counter spell. Like if we if we wait and it gets thought or if we just, if I just don't play it and it gets thought erasure, I'd feel so bad. And I do like that happens a decent amount. At least it trades with like the counter spell like it's supposed to. Yeah, we just gotta play it. Yeah, would have just gotten taken by Thought Erasure. Six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen lands in half of our deck is about right. Ugh, stop getting these Lilianas. If I were you, I'd get the Oh, I do love a Wait, good is this the same whale. as per control person we played with Gruel with the two Liliana main deck? Don't counter it. I feel like that's the same name that we played earlier. Lilianas are so good. <laughs> Rise and shine. Hopefully nobody else starts putting Lilianas in their Esper deck, because it's really obnoxious. Yeah, with Citadel, there's always an out. It's very true. We got three more Citadels in here. We only saw one in the first half of our deck. There's three more in here. A hurry! Putrid, but effective. Hold that thought. Yeah, I haven't played that Ugin Elf Ball list yet. Smelly, but effective. Uh, the the Dreadhorde control didn't. We didn't. I didn't play any Lilianas in that deck. Thanks for that tier one sub. We need to move quickly. Sub number twenty five on the day. Oh yeah, as per control gained a ton from the set. I'll do one more. Death We've seen our opponent anyone. with like, you know, new Teferi, Liliana, get Othakaya too. Dovin's vetoes. Unfortunately, Nexus Nexus and Esper Control got the most tools from the new set, it seems like. It's kinda sad. Played against Esper the first round. We did this. 
Cut Mort Mortify Othakaya. Cut a Johnny and find. Yeah, Little Teferi is really strong. Yeah, I'm sad Gruul is the worst deck of the day, too. <laughs> worst deck by Miles. Doing good with everything else, but... Can't win them all. Uh, gotta have, like, one bad egg in there. Tried making some changes with Gruul, and... Didn't work. That's good. It's good testing. Good to know that those changes didn't work. Going back where it was. Annoying mana. But we're not mulliganing. Dispark's a really solid card. It is. Uh, could certainly play more of them. Hey, Methant. Ooh, Citadel. I like it. Draw lots of cards. Um, I haven't seen very many people playing Sultai in the new standard. I only tried out one version of Sultai myself. I played a Sultai Flash deck and it felt pretty good. Let's yeah, slow five this. loyalty. That's more like it. Why does that need five loyalty? Time for plan B, as soon as I think of one. Debating whether or not to play the Land War Elf. Because the positive, you know, the negative is, of course, it's a good chance that they just, oh, like, wrap my board. The, the positive is, before. would be able to cast Bola Citadel next turn. Especially if they would try for, like, instant speed Kai's Wrath. Like, we could, like, cast the, the Citadel first kind of thing. But I'm kind of assuming it's a Kaya's Wrath here. We'll see. They could certainly wait till end step for Kaya's Wrath, also, if they don't mind their Teferi dying. Alright, Joy, have a good night. 
Yeah, I definitely only want like to spark in the sideboard of this deck. I wouldn't want a main deck. Of course, Let's all three this. of our matches that we played tonight have been like really good matches for Dispark. Because we just played Esper Control twice and Reclamation. Okay. If you show remorse, Get to set up Citadel. I'll show restraint. Let's do that. Actually, yeah, like that'll work. I, but I should have done that the first time. Than people think. I didn't. We got kind of lucky there. I didn't need to pay extra life. Yeah, I should have done that the first time. Just take the other citadel. Yeah, should have done that the first time. So now we get Wild Growth Walker, Doom Whisperer, and here we go. We don't have like a way to give our creatures haste, so if they do have a wrath. I paid an extra two life, I didn't need to, but we did get rid of one citadel. Is our opponent like trying to do stuff right now? Thanks, Sly. I just had a fun match, used Ashiok to mill out my opponent over to over 20 cards exiled, killed them with a Kaya. Ooh, that's pretty nice. There you go. Thank you, opponent. Take the Liliana. We'll take the Mortify. This deck is sweet. <laughs> oh, this deck is crazy. All right. Got there. We know the guy does do a really good job of shooting planeswalkers after they minus with all their planeswalkers. But. <laughs> oh man, it's so amazing. It's like we basically just had an infinite life, could just keep on going through the cards, you know, get all of our duresses, find our contempts, contempt both their planeswalkers. You know, and just basically set up where, do you top deck Kaya's Wrath? If not, you lose. <laughs> I mean, they were kind of already at that, but they would have had, like, right then, they would have had top deck plus um, Teferi activation. But we would have got rid of that Teferi activation, because we would have contempted that. <laughs> yeah, where'd the opponent go? They tucked my Doom Whisper, and I was like, alright, cool, I'll just get it right back, thanks. It's, it's not even drawing your whole deck. You're just casting your whole deck. So better than... Better than drawing your deck. Even. Get to do some really crazy stuff. Alright, while we're waiting here... Are we good to go? Okay, never mind. I'll do a really quick plug. Harry's Razors, you can get a $3 starter set by uh, using my referral link there, using coupon code TODSTEVENSMTG. Check it out. Uh, more information in the info panel down below. 
but support the stream, get a nice starter set sent, sent to you, free shipping for US, UK, and Canada for only $3. Can't get things cheaper than that, so check out that Harry's Razors deal. Uh, why are we not just playing Golgari? Because white adds a lot, especially Soren. Soren's like the real big reason to play white. Um, but I, I don't think there's... I don't think the mana's very bad. I don't think there's any reason not to play another color, basically. And the white really helps with... Life gain in particular. Yeah, Gruel just kind of lost a lot. We tried a couple of new things, didn't work out. You know, just we had a lot of close matches, a ton of really close ones, but they just didn't go our way. I hope they hit three lands there. Yeah, we have in this deck we have two Soren, four Citadel, two a Johnny. That's eight War Rares. I think those are the ones I can think. Oh, the Othakayas. Yeah, it's got a couple Othakayas. So like ten, maybe eleven. Hoping, I guess I should just do that pre-combat, get that lifelink in. But definitely hoping we hit, just draw the sixth land. I think a Johnny and Oath are pretty easy to replace. So then there's not a ton of reason to play white. I guess you know besides Soren, if you're just replacing Oath and a Johnny. Opponent just taking these. Well, the the ball's in their court. They got to do something. Got to do something here. They just take the six. Soren can do the seventh point. 
Looks like they're trying to carefully have have Dovin's veto available still. Yeah, they could have contempted our Soren there and stayed alive, and that kind of stuff, but, you know, they would have gained life on contempt either way. They would have stayed alive, but not not plussing right away gave us more options. So after they used the removal spell on Branch Walker, we got to just bring it back. And plus, if they would tap out there on removal on my things, I could have, like, brought back a creature, found another land, played the land, played Citadel last turn, for example. Something that potentially could have happened. They're playing Settle. <laughs> Time for a drink. They definitely really want to play this Dovin's Veto. I don't know if I let him off the hook for Dovin's veto there. We'll make them keep up two mana again, so it's just reducing the amount of mana they can play here where they have to deal with my creatures and have to deal with Soren and keep up Dovin's veto. Hey Fred, doing real good. All right, we are 3 and 0 with Abzan Citadel. This deck is mean. Getting those wins back. All right, we haven't reset arena in like 3 or 4 hours. I don't know, maybe more, maybe 5, 4 or 5 hours. Let's do a reset. Yeah, we have yep. There's that update. There's card styles for the next set. Uh, that bolus avatar, as you've seen, that we have there. There's like a bolus package. Not all the set, of course. It's like, you know, obviously it's not even half of the set. But there's there are some cards for the new set, as you see. Like with this uh, one, we have bolus of citadel, for example. Zerf, I started volunteering with Scouts Canada tonight, and six of the guys in the group all play Magic. Well, there you go. That's a good time. He says, I've been really impressed with a number of the lesser walkers like Soren. I especially like that it's not just control and value mid-range with walkers now. Even more aggressive decks get to diversify their threats. True. Ooh. Yeah. All right. I'm talking myself into it. Um, even against an aggro deck, like Oath of Kai against aggro is awesome. Tokens. I don't have sweepers. I guess that's a sweeper. All right. Never mind. We got one sweeper. Gonna have to get to six mana. We have three six drops in our hand. I think we got Jade Light Ranger and all its greatness. Oh, 
Ja, aber es geht sechs. Jay Light Ranger is a great blocker here this turn. You know, it's hard to send in the 2-2s two against the 4-3. So I liked keeping that. I liked keeping the uh, Jade Light on top to, like, make sure that the one in play was going to be a 4-3 is going to get both the counters. Ugh. Need more water. Fell Collector. I don't see that in tokens too much. Talent Spy Guard. I don't see that in tokens too much either. <clears throat> Is this... This looks like just green-white aggro, I suppose. Put a bodyguard name anyway. Pell collector. Whoa. Howl fountain. What's going on over here? So we're at 15. Oh, I guess I need the J light to make sure we draw a land next turn. Right, that was like my whole plan. <clears throat> my plan kind of went awry because. I was like, oh, I'm at a, a good enough life total. We don't need to play this J-Lite. We'll just wait with that J-Lite till after finality. And then I realized, oh, wait. But we need that J-Lite to hit our land drop for finality. Whoops. Whoopsie-daisy. I certainly think our opponent has another Amara, how they've just been like attacking like I think our opponent has more Amaras in hand. Or at least at least one more Amara. I've lost so much already. I won't lose. Alright, just draw more. our land. Strike now! Strike hard! Draw land. Uh. Well, that should guarantee a land drop next turn. Of course, our opponent doesn't need to... Or they do. So they don't need to play things sorcery speed. You can but still I guess they want away. the Shauna to have reach, I suppose. Yeah, we lost some games with Gruul. It was sad. We changed a few cards. Um, tried out some different stuff. Didn't work out. Go and change it back. So 
They could flash in something to like, you know, have a profitable block here, maybe. There's that extra Amara that I definitely ha. knew they had. I've seen worse. They did not want to save Vivian with it. A good green card to fight Planeswalkers. Ugin the Ineffable is a good green card to fight Planeswalkers. Uh, Thrash? Half of Thrash Threat? Also not bad. Meteor Golem. Yep, Meteor Golem. Wild animals I like. People, not so much. That's a good Tear one. Tear it down. Tear it all down. Sorcerer Spyglass. It's a good one. Leyland Prowler is is cool. I like Leyland Prowler. I'm glad it was printed. I think it's a cool card. Good enough to put in, like, your main deck. I mean, obviously, you're never putting it in a sideboard, but so good enough to put in your main deck in standard? Probably not. But it is definitely cool. All right, next turn, we're going to Citadel. Is a new I promise. Next turn, we're going to really Citadel. We're going to actually do it. Shockland. Ooh, I do want that card. Uh, well, no guts, no glory. Oh gosh. All right. Wait till next turn. Uh, no attacks. <laughs> Defense. Defense. I will block. I will block all of your creatures. Three. All right, now we're at a nice, healthy life total, and here we go. Ah. So yeah, we could have paid two life to get that land in and be able to branch walker. It worked out though. 
not doing it. I was a little greedy, hoping for a non-shock land. Definitely a little greedy there. So Knight of Autumn's really good against History Banalia. That's a thing. Our deck is really good. That's also a thing. So if I put in Knight of Autumn... I'm going to take out... Hey, Yori, welcome back. Thanks for that resub. Let's get some hype in the channel. Thanks, Yori. Yep, all my videos go up on YouTube. All of the other three are already up on the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash ToddStevensMTG. And this one will be going up after the stream tonight. We're playing this match and one more. We're playing five matches tonight. Yeah, I, th I think the Sagas were just for Dominaria. Maybe if we go back to Dominaria, we'll have Sagas again. But I wouldn't be holding hope for another Saga anytime soon. I ditched a spell, right? Yeah. Rude. bad luck. Gruel, Gruel is not really bad. I mean, I like Gruel quite a bit. I It's the deck that I play the most off off stream, and I win a lot with it. Like, I was I was actually 4-0 off stream with it uh, earlier today. Um, so I, that's my normal deck that I play to rank up. But I did try some different things um, with uh, for the deck today, and it that did not work. Uh, so going back to normal. But played a lot of close games, and just games didn't go our way. Hey Saren. Yeah, deck list you can you can find the deck I'm playing right now with deck, or you can see all the decks with that. Or it's a little prettier if you go to the YouTube channel and click like all the videos and you can kinda see like all the, the decks and see what you like. There's deck list on every YouTube video as well. Plays of the Mortifies too. No, let's just try not to have that bad of a hand and our opponent have that good of a hand. And their hand was, you know, it was just it wasn't like anything spectacular, but it was Amara into um, Benelish Marshall and the Venerate Luxodon. So that's probably just like a you know, it's a, a good curve for them, but I don't think that's, like, their best possible or anything like that. You're welcome. We're not going to be on the, the draw this time, which is good. We're going to hopefully not have mold of six and just have two tap lands and then not have another land. Uh, hopefully have land war elf. Hey, what's up, P2, P2 to sell? Howdy. Yeah, Lana Warhoff would be a good one. Wolf 
camouflage that re that resort. Ugh, no, it looks like we're mulligan again, but land war elf? Oh, there's land war elf, but there's no there's no green mana. Oh man, double wild growth walker though. Is this is this crazy to keep? It's probably crazy to keep. I'm guessing we have 17 green sources. This is my just guess without looking at the list. Let's see. We have eight. Nope, 17. Yeah, we have 17 green sources. So we have a scry in one look at 17. So 17 out of. Have to hit a 17 out of 53. Or 17 out of 54. And then 17 out of 53. Doesn't look good. Looks like we got two games here where Mulligan to just a few tap lands against the fast deck. Not looking good. What would have been better than Wild Growth Walker? Um, an Explore Creature would have been better. Uh, also, just wouldn't really mind lands because we need to hit land drops. Because basically, we have to get to Finality, right? Like, Finality is just our, our card that we need, and we're just not going to get there. Well, that was two games of us not playing Magic, but that was a really good hand for the opponent there. That was that was their turn three. That was awesome. Good job, opponent. Way to go. All right, one more match tonight. We'll go final boss playlist here. All right, we can keep the seven. Hmm, island. Uh, that was, I think that was Cage the Elephant that was just on. Something with Cage the Elephant. I believe. Oh, that was Hohei by the Lumineers. Oh, sorry. All right, not Cage the Elephant. That was a previous song. One point short of the Sothakaya. One point short. No, a Johnny doesn't matter in this matchup. We don't need it. I guess. I guess if I would have taken, I could have played a Johnny minus. 
put a counter on and maybe got that extra point in. Oh no, Doom Whisper is going to make me click okay to every single thing. Dueling you will be excellent research. To the library. So we did not kill our opponent before they took their fifth turn, so we're dead. That's what we get. You get five turns, or you get four turns. I guess we were on the play. We got five turns. Didn't do it. There's a bolus uh, package to get the bolus avatar. <laughs> Just made this deck first game. You play Branch Walker, reveal Citadel to the opponent, and they concede. Wow. I follow the tracks of the wise. All right, they got their four mana omniscience. Does their deck fizzle? I mean, not, not really. Hey, we're getting another turn. That's cool. I'm looking for the other Oath of Kaya. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> basically they need Root Snare plus negate if we find it. We may not find it, though. Come on, Othakaya. There's two in the deck, right? I'm not crazy, right? Yeah, there's two in the deck. I wish I had that extra mana for that Soren. If I had one more mana, I could have, you know, Othakaya plus Soren to deal for. We only have one turn here. Alright, last chance of looking for the Sothakaya. Alright, hopefully it's that card. Cost six mana. We have we have the Llanowar Elves. That's how we were casting both there. I 
Yeah, Soren and Oath required seven, which so that's why I was one mana short of, like you know we saw the Sorens, but I was one mana short of of the Sorens. All right, I'm bringing our million cards in our sideboard here. Get rid of those. Get rid of these. Get rid of that. Get rid of those. Get rid of those. Okay. Why all tap lands? We have 12 shocks in here, right? Yeah, we have 12 shocks and 10. Ugh. 10 tap lands and 12 shocks. Don't let them draw one more card here. So now we're you know looking at eight cards with this duress. They have two Escantas. So not fighting that fight. I mean, we're not being Kefnet. Be honest here. Oh, I'm sorry, Aaron. We're not winning this. That would be nice, but we're not. Yeah, you can find them. Um, the previous decks we played, you can, there's the deck list on the Stream Decker page. Um, you can also find the videos of them, which have the deck list as well on the YouTube channel. Yeah, I think this deck's good. I like it. We've had... The last two rounds, we've just had some really bad hands. The last two matches of... Yeah, Mulligan and then just... Really ugly looking hands. Who knows? If if we get to actually resolve a, the Bola Citadel here, maybe... I guess we could maybe win this if they don't have a counter spell. I 
guess it's possible. I don't really know what's going to happen with the Citadel, but I don't know. They put all those scry... They put everything on the bottom when they were scrying. It's on you, opponent. It's on you. There you go. Thank you. On you again. Counter spell. Okay, here we go. Life gain. Don't really need either of those. Whoa, the opponent just scoops it up. All right. We got there. Full of Citadel. Very good card. We need to find like one more removal spell for the O3 and get enough explore to make the Wild Growth Walker lethal. Like that was the plan, was try to get lethal there. <laughs> yeah. Nexus players don't got time for us to to play and see if we win or not. They don't got time for that. <laughs> Go to the next one. All right, so we're going to hit Isolated Chapel Branch Walker next turn. Just want to match against Mono Red by using Intervention on my Feather to gain 15 life. There you go. Never mind, we'll just play this now. So, paying two life to deal one to them. Okay, so it was Cage the Ele Lumineers was the one before that, so it was Cage the Elephant. It was on for 20 seconds. Ha! Huh. Because I, whenever I, I switched, I saw that, like, I saw, like, Cage the Elephant as, like, a name that it was playing. Get out of here, Kefnet. Stop. Stop Kefnetting. Beasts are much more reliable than humans. You're gonna enter the royal there thing? Uh.
Gross. You can't stop nature. Attack. How am I supposed to kill one of those? They got two of them. What's up with that? I know I noted this somewhere. Yeah, get rid of those cards. The wilds are my shield. Get to attack with the land world. Guess I need to attack like this. Does let them minus. So I didn't destroy the other one with Vivian because then I don't know how I get through the Kefnet if I do that. I need the Vivian to get get through the Kefnet. Could use some manners. Let me aid your research. Still. Ugh. What a great turn for them. As Kanta plus Memorial, the other two cards. What a great turn. Guess I should have just got rid of the other neck the wilderness reclamation and just try to figure out a way to get through this Kefnet. I think you will find my nose Ugh. helpful. Come on. No, I mean I wouldn't have had that other land, so I would have I would have had to tap like the land war off to play like the Jade Light. And like the Tamio, Tamio could have already just got back at a Nexus if I, you know, if I attack them or get back the Wilderness Reclamation. Double Reclamation Tamio, though, it's over. That has Kanta. Dang. Three two, with Abzan Citadel. So if I, if I take the, uh, all right. So if I go with, if I just get rid of the Vivian, kill one Reclamation, have the Knight of Autumn kill the other Reclamation, and cast Jade Light. I mean, I guess I could start by casting Jade Light first. 
and see if we hit the land so that and then see if we could um i guess that was the thing i guess that's what i should have done is start with jade light see if we get the next land which you know if we assume we get the land then we can play the knight take out one wreck the vivian take out the other wreck and then we have four attack where if we attack them for four we put them down to three And then even if Tamio, yeah, Tamio getting back one reclamation isn't going to really matter too much. That's, I guess that's what I should have done. I played that pretty fast. I guess I should have really thought about that a little bit more. I think that would have been better. Yeah, I think that was the, be the best line for me there. That last game was lead with Jade Light, see if we can get the land drop. Instead of lead with Vivian. I'm just so used to plusing Vivian before playing Jade Light because you don't want to like explore first before your Vivian. And I was thinking that we needed that we we're gonna need Vivian to clear out the Kefnet, but I was wrong. I, that was a wrong thought there. So should have gone with the other line. Um, so we went one and one against Nexus uh, with as you can tell, we have a lot of weight, a lot of cards against Nexus in the sideboard. Everything except for Carl Harpooner, really. Uh, real close there that game one. Also, the game one, maybe if I keep a Johnny, where I could have had a Johnny on turn four to put counters. I, I, I think if I keep the Johnny game one, I kind of forgot about like the minus counters. I was thinking, you know, like this does this isn't going to really help us. But honestly, where our opponent was at with the Othakaya they were just we were one point short of killing our opponent and i and we played like the i've just played the land where elf on turn four where if i played a johnny on turn four put a counter on the jade light wild growth so i think both of those games that we lost that last match i think i had the opportunity to win both of them but we didn't uh the deck's a lot of fun to play though you know every time we played citadel we won we didn't we didn't lose a single game where we played citadel and it resolved that is of course, it all resolved. We didn't lose any of them. Um, it gets to do some crazy stuff. Um, but there we go. That's Abzan Citadel. All right. Uh, if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the deck. Uh, I sure did.